We've been doing these filming projects for about a year and a half now and the way that we've always produced content for this channel is we'll release the project and then afterwards we'll do a few videos talking about what we learned from the project, tips that we picked up, equipment that we used and all that sort of thing. But one avenue that we've always wanted to go down is speaking to people in the industry, people with far more experience than us and hopefully gathering some of their valuable insight that we can share with you. This is episode one. My name is Dennis Pleska and I am a filmmaker and director. And I was joining him on a commercial shoot that he was doing at the Rosewood London Hotel. The general overview is this will be a real game, a real room hunt game that you can buy a package from, um, from Rosewood Online itself. So we're making a, a campaign for that to advertise that, that's all we do. We've got a couple running around trying to find some clues, we've got Clue Master guiding them through and that's what it is. So it's going to be a packed day. Um, and it's going to be fun, really. So that's about it, right? Once the prep talk was done, it was a hive of activity. Everyone packing up their equipment onto the trolleys and taking them down to the lobby for the opening sequence. Now, of course, with commercial work, everything has to be perfect. Every detail needs to be controlled and essentially crafted. So a lot of time was being put into every frame. I've been Working on films really for probably six years. The whole thing started when I was at university. Um, I was studying to be a graphic designer. Luckily my course allowed me to get quite free and creative with things that we were doing. So every time we had a nice project, we could, uh, we could kind of develop as much as we wanted to. So I started to play with film more and more. 2016 went full freelance and that was really where it sort of started to snowball and kind of haven't stopped. Okay. Uh, action. Now the thing that I find interesting about Dennis's story is that he doesn't have a traditional film background. He didn't go to film school, he just picked up a camera one day, fell in love with filmmaking and began pursuing that and has turned it into his career. But I was interested to know how he first made the leap from shooting passion projects into doing paid gigs. Generally the only reason I, I am where I am is because of free jobs that I've picked up. Every big client that I have today, it's because I can track it back to probably two or three people prior to that, which I did a free job for, and then that person said, oh, he was really good. And then he passed me on to someone else, that person paid me, that person passed me on to someone else. Everything that I've ever done was word of mouth. I'm not saying do everything for free, but if you can, do a free job and watch how much that's gonna evolve and how much that client's gonna appreciate it, how much they're gonna love it. I, I, spend, I spend years contacting people, just emailing people, offering, offering my services, and probably 1% of those people got back to me, but that 1% was enough. You do one free job, and then the next one is they're gonna pay you, and then the third one they're gonna pay you. And I've done that, I travel the world by doing that. Don't be scared to work on free projects and help people out because it will go the extra mile. That's gonna boomerang straight back to you. It will just blossom into this amazing endless list of, of clients because you've just been generous. Just, just be generous. So some interesting advice from Dennis there. It almost seems counterintuitive that the way to start getting paid for your work is to actually work for free. But it totally makes sense. It allows you to build up a body of work, build up a good relationship with clients and prove to the client that you can meet their expectations and then some. In the next episode, we're going to be talking through some creative and some technical bits. And if you have enjoyed this, then please let me know down in the comment section.